Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a little different video today, so I hope you don't mind because I wanted to kind of sit down with you today and talk with you and show you some of my additions and extras for my 10 item wardrobe. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I love to post videos like this about feminine 10 item wardrobe, vintage homemaking and romantic home and all of that good stuff. So if any of those sound good to you and you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I already showed you my summer 10 item wardrobe in another video and I will link that down below if you want to see that. But since I filmed that video, I did mention to you and in my blog post that I was going to have a few items shipped in and they didn't make it into the video for that one. But I did tell you that I was going to fill you in and let you know all the new wonderful additions that I would be bringing into my wardrobe. Okay, so ladies, like I said before, this is going to be a kind of a different video than I've done in the past. But I miss doing my talk with you or chat with me type video, I used to call those. And so I thought it would be fun to do this video kind of like that. My summer 10 item wardrobe extras and additions are over here on my bed. So I'm just going to kind of grab and show you. And we're just going to kind of talk about everything. One of the first additions that I got that was mailed to me later is my April Cornell dress. And that is this dress that I'm wearing right now. And in my summer blue and whites video that I just recently did, I tell you all about this dress. And so I'm going to link that video down below because then you can see more about that because it goes with the summer blues and whites. So this dress is from April Cornell and I absolutely love this dress. I've worn it already a couple of times and I just recently wore it to church and it is so cool and refreshing. And it's just one of my favorite purchases that I've made for my summer 10 item wardrobe. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to show you the next dress that I got as part of my additions. So this is the next dress. And this is the one that all of you were asking me about in my last video because you all said it was beautiful and you loved it. The story behind this is in spring when I started shopping for my summer wardrobe, I really wanted a lavender style uh, floral type dress. I thought this was light blue actually <laughs> because when I looked at it on the website, and this is actually from Shane, it looked blue, like it looked light blue, if that makes sense, like a baby blue color. And I thought, oh, that's pretty because it kind of goes with my blue and whites and all of that. And I like the style because it has like a cross over here on the top. I just like that style. It's kind of forgiving, has the elastic waistband, but then it comes together with a pretty bow. And it's kind of vintage. It feels like a vintage 40s feel to me. And then at the bottom, it has pretty uh, ruffle hem. Isn't that beautiful? And so if you want to see more of that dress, you can see it in the last video I just filmed about uh, hairstyles, summer hairstyles. But I love this dress. So when it came, it ended up being lavender. <laughs> and so this piece actually completes my summer 10 item wardrobe with a checklist because there were certain things I was looking for. And this was the last thing. So these are my two additions, the dress I'm wearing right now, and then this dress from Shane.com. And for those of you that are not familiar with the 10 item wardrobe, because I'm always talking about it, and that's what I like to film my videos on, and that's a concept I actually take in for my wardrobe every season. The 10 item wardrobe is created by Jennifer L. Scott, which is the author of the Madame Chic books. But this is the first original book that Jennifer L. Scott wrote. It's called The Lessons from Madame Chic, 20 Stylish Secrets I Learned While Living in Paris. There's a concept in here that she talks about the 10 item wardrobe. And it's like you have 10 core items in your seasonal wardrobe. And that could be dresses, skirts, pants, blouses. So if you wanna know more about this, I'll link it down below and you can find out more about that. And I am going to show you my blouses. So these are going to be my extras that I'm using. I know but blouses and shirts are not considered extras. But because of my schedule, I drive a lot. We have one car in our family. And so in order to have the car during the week or during the day, I have to drive my husband to work and stuff. So I found I didn't have enough blouses in my core 10 item wardrobe as I was wearing 
my uh, clothes through June. And now it's really hot here. It's July in Arizona and it's so hot. So I definitely need some cooler like go-to blouses that I can just pop on and pull on with my uh, pants or a pair of shorts. So this is one of the blouses that I'm adding. This actually is one of the blouses that I had in my last summer 10 item wardrobe. And this is so pretty, I love it because it's got flowers and it's pink and green. And so I love that. And then I'd love to tuck it in. So it's like a pretty tank. And then what I do is I pair it with a cardigan or um, add a little blouse or a little sweater to it. And then the other blouse is a pretty polka dot blue. I added this because I love polka dots and I love navy blue during the summer and I didn't have enough navy blue I felt in my wardrobe currently and I do have a navy blue dress. Um, if you see my summer 10 item wardrobe video you'll see that it's like a vintage style but I felt this was really cute because I pair it with my, my um, white pants and it looks really cute like that. And so the next extra are my shorts. So yes, like some of you ladies were like, don't you wear shorts in the summer? And to tell you the truth, I prefer not to because I feel like it's too casual for me. However, I do wear shorts because it gets to a point like right now in July where it is burning hot. When I walk into my garage, it's like an oven in there. <laughs> so I did add a pair of shorts and these are just simple. They're from Day Jeans, I think is the name of the brand. This has a really nice midi style um, to it. And so it's just really, really cute and they're not like really short. I just want to look more chic and put together with shorts, if that makes sense. And I also I would wear these like if I take my husband to work really quick. It's just more casual and it helps me stay cool because they are short. Okay, so moving on to another extra. I have this cardigan that I'm using as an extra and like I said, I pairing certain things with the blouses that I wear. This is actually vintage. I bought this at an antique store like 20 years ago and it's gorgeous. I think it's from the 50s even then. I'm pretty sure it's from the 50s but I just love how it has embroidered like flowers there can you see that it's so pretty like when movie theaters were open <laughs> I would take something like this to the movies because it's always so cold in the movie theater but even if I just wanted an extra cover-up or um, oh also in the car when I drive it gets really hot so I'll just put it on and um, use it like a protection for my arms in the sun and then another extra that I have is this cute little uh, sweater. Sorry, it's all wrinkled. My iron just broke. <laughs> this is so funny, but I'm being real with you. This is like real talk. This was in my summer 10 item wardrobe last summer. Um, and I can link that video too, because you can see how I use this. I would wear it with um, jumpsuits, wear it over dresses, all sorts of things. But this is why it's so cute. It has buttons and it's kind of form fitting, but it's a crop little sweater, like cardigan. I've been wearing um, a lot of uh, scarves in my hair recently and so if you know from my past videos you see that but I love scarves in summer. I love wearing them in my hair. I love wearing them around my neck. But look how pretty that is. I just pop, wrap that around and then it looks so pretty, right? <laughs> you cannot go wrong with scarves, ladies. You cannot go wrong. Okay, and then in my last video of my summer hairstyles I did talk about my sun hat and how I'm using this as one of my extras and I just love this one I talk about this in my blog post which I can link below and this is a beautiful sun hat that I actually found on clearance at Burke's Outlet and it's a 9 West so it's really good it has like SPF in it so it was like, wow, it was like $3. <laughs> so I was like, I need a pretty sun hat. So I love this, it's beautiful. And like I showed you in my last video with the hairstyles, it looks so pretty with um, when you have your hair up. So I could actually wear this out when I'm in the garden, um, you know, when I'm out and about or whatever. I think sun protection is so important to protect yourself from the sun. I was debating on showing you this next thing because they're so controversial right now. Everything we're going through right now in the world with the COVID-19 and the quarantine and all that stuff is 
very controversial right now. So I didn't want to really make a video about that. And so I'm not <laughs> because I want to focus on the beauty and, and good things that's happening for our lives right now. And I am including this in my extras. And that is a face mask. Some of you don't care about face masks or you don't want to wear one. I understand. I totally get it. So this isn't about trying to make you wear a face mask. <laughs> I'm just showing you the pretty ones I found. I decided that if I was going to have to go out and take my daughter to ballet and she was going to go back to ballet in June, which now they are back home again. Um, so that didn't last too long. <laughs> I decided that she was going to need a mask and we we're going to need masks to go out. So these are the face masks and they're so pretty. I actually got these on shade.com and I will link these below. But look how pretty those are. Okay. Now, if anything you get from this is look presentable at all times. You can look feminine. You can look pretty. Look at how cute that is. The gingham. I love the ginghams. Look at that. How pretty. And you can also look great no matter what, even in a pandemic. <laughs> you know, everything is falling apart around you in life. We can bring beauty to this world and how we choose to live, how we choose to respond to what is going on in our lives and around us. I think in these talk videos that I do, if you watch some of my chat with me in the car or even my Instagram stories of me chatting with you, I feel that, um, that's some of the aspect that I don't get to get here on YouTube, that real part or that raw part of who I am. But if anything, I love to just encourage you as ladies to look at the lovely, beautiful things that are going on. There are beautiful, lovely things. And it starts with us. It starts in our home. It starts with how we present ourselves. And it starts how we are with our family, with our husbands and our children. And that we can have control over. We can control that and we can make the most beautiful time and make beautiful things happen. So I hope that leaves you on a good note. Like I said, this was a different type of video, but I kind of miss doing spontaneous type videos, like kind of vloggish style in a, while, in a way. I kind of miss that. So if you like more videos like this or you say, I totally hate this kind of video, <laughs> go ahead and let me know. I have a community post about this video and you can feel free to go there and comment below or you can find me on Instagram and comment on that post too for the day. And I want to hear from you and I feel like because my comments are disabled, I cannot engage with you like the way I want. But I appreciate all of you that really take the time to comment on here on YouTube and on Instagram because it really means so much to me. It means a lot to know what you think and also what uh, to hear from you. I feel like we're friends, I really do. So overall, my summer 10 item wardrobe ends up capping off with 12 core items instead of 10 because I added the two dresses and I'm not considering the extra two blouses or shorts as part of my core items because they're really not, they're just like extras to me. So that's how I'm doing it. And like Jennifer says from The Daily Connoisseur, the 10 item wardrobe, make it your own. It's your style. You do what you want with it. And that's what I'm doing and it works for me. So thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to hearing from you and make sure you subscribe and let me know what you think and I will see you in my next video.